Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to the first process video in my Oh So Inspired September series. I hope you'll stick around, see how I'm going to be inspired today, and find out how you can play along. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. At the end of last month, I stopped by and told you about a new series on my channel. It is called Oh So Inspired September, and I am hoping to spend the month focusing on the supplies I currently have and creating new projects that are inspired by other artists out there. That intro video does go into detail about the challenge, so you'll definitely want to watch it. I have it linked in the description box below. Basically, I am asking my subscribers to submit inspiration links and then I'll stop back from time to time this month and create something new based upon the chosen pieces. If you've ever watched my Oh So Inspired live series, this is the same idea except I am not creating live and the videos will be much shorter. There are a few ways you can participate or play along this month. The first one is just by watching each of my videos and leaving a comment or a thumbs up. The second way is by submitting inspiration pieces. All of my subscribers can submit one link and guess what? If your link is chosen, you have the option of me sending you the finished project. Again, the intro video will tell you all about that and have a link to the form. The third way is by joining me in being inspired by these creators and the pieces I take inspiration from. Just like Oh So Inspired Live, I will have some hashtags in the description box below and I will tell you more about those toward the end of the video. You can use the hashtags here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok. If you're not on any of those platforms, I do have a Facebook group with a dedicated album for your inspired projects. I really hope you will join me and focus on using what you have this month. Speaking of that, I did show you the supplies I'm using today at the beginning of the video, but instead of stopping and focusing on each one individually, I will just link what I can find in the description box below. Since I am focusing on using my stash, I may not know product or company names and much of what I use may not be for sale any longer. This series is really about taking inspiration from others and thinking about the tools or products you have in your stash to create something new. Now I do know many of you will be buying this month and I totally get that. After all, it is what I do 11 out of the 12 months in the year, and it is stamp timber. <laughs> Another thing I showed at the start of the video was selecting the inspiration piece for today. Just like with Oh So Inspired Live, before I sat down to make my card, I did not know what the inspiration would be. After it was chosen, I spent about 10 to 15 minutes off camera getting products and cardstock out, but I didn't spend hours or days thinking about what I was going to create. Today's inspiration piece was submitted by Veronica and created by Michelle Lupton. I will have the pin and her original blog post linked in the description box below so you can go give it a closer look. Up on screen now are some close-ups of Michelle's card. The things that I am taking from it are the fact that it's a birthday card, there's an ombre background, and there is some white heat embossing. 
As I create my card today, you might notice some of the differences. Instead of making my own ombre background, I did use some ombre pattern paper that a subscriber sent me. Thank you so much, Bertha C. I am loving it for this card. Another thing I have changed, instead of having a big, bold background stamp, I used some confetti dots and I stamped those with kind of a tone on tone color with the sea glass ink. And then I inked it up with some Versamark and did that white heat embossing. If you decide to play along, don't forget that you can take whatever you want from that inspiration piece. It might be the colors Michelle used, the fact that she did an ombre, maybe you have a floral background stamp. I think we can all be inspired by each other, no matter our skill level, how long we've been doing this, or our style. The hashtags for today's video are up on screen now, so don't forget to use those if you post on social media. And if you want to post in the Facebook group, I will have a direct link to the album in the description box below. If you're not already a member of the Facebook group and you do want to join, please make sure you answer all of the questions and agree to the group rules. If you do not do that, Facebook will not approve your membership request. I can't wait to see what you are inspired to create. Up on screen now are some close-up looks at my finished card. At the end of the month, it will be sent on its way to Veronica. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.